thing I want to talk about now are called like terms. That means they are similar. Okay? So say you've got um, 2x squared plus 4x minus um, 5x squared plus 8 minus x. Okay? We want to simplify this, okay? When you do simplify this, it's called combining like terms, okay? So what we're doing, uh, well, I apologize. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry. All right, let's start with like terms. Like terms means that they have the same variable and that variable has the same exponent, okay? So right here, this is x squared. I don't care about the number, I care about the variable and its exponent, okay? x squared. That one only has an x. These are not like terms. This one has an x squared. These two are like terms. This one doesn't have an x or that, so it would just be a regular number. And then this has an x. These are like terms. And those are what like terms are. Okay? Um, another way, uh, like a more advanced version of that, will be like 2xy squared plus 3x squared y plus 3xy plus xy squared. Okay? Forget about your numbers. Look at your variables and exponents. You got x, one of the x's, y squared. You got x squared and a y. Oh, you're like, oh, these are like terms. Oh, they're not. Okay? These are not like terms because the variable has to be attached to the exact same exponents. Okay? The y has the exponent here. This one, the x has it. Not going to work. xy, still nothing. xy squared matches up with this one. Those are like terms. Okay? Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe 